much have you guys gotten into Clemson prep already? Like looking at what their personnel is. Um, really, today was the first day as a as a whole. Uh, we started looking at them uh, personnel wise. Um, the other day we met as an O line and looked at them, and I know the coaches have been looking at them. Just looking in generalities at the offensive plan. Their only loss this year was to Syracuse. Syracuse kind of sped up the tempo. Is that something you guys would look at thinking of doing? No, I mean we just. We just got to play our game and execute our things and, you know, see how it falls. What's, What's your take on their defensive did? front? How would you assess their defensive front? I think their defensive front is really good. Um, they got two good guys in the middle and some good edge rushers off the outside. So, I mean, they're definitely very solid up front. Is this the best front you think you guys have seen all year? Um, it's definitely not. Um, yeah, it probably is, yeah. Probably. Would you guys like to play spoiler for their college football playoff hopes? Would that be something that you would enjoy? I mean, yeah, we'd obviously enjoy it, but we'd enjoy just beating Clemson too. They've gotten us several years in a row, so um, we're just focused on this game, treating it like a normal game. How much has Coach Muschamp mentioned last year at 56 to 7? I know he was upset about that afterward and their posters up and never again and all that stuff. Are you hearing that message a lot this week? I mean, it's come up for sure, but you know, like I said, I mean, it's another game and we we really treat every game the same, just like Wofford, we treat the same as Florida. We really do treat every game the same here, but it has come up. Do you think you got, you know, there was some talk after that game about some embarrassment that they were kind of running it up and the way they were, the players were celebrating on the field and all that kind of stuff. I mean, does that does that stick with you guys here a year later? It does, but I mean, like I said, it's <laughs> it's another game. You got it's a new year. And it's just another game. Corey, you say that with all due respect. I mean, but you know how big this is in the state. How, how do you how do, how, how do you guys uh, you know kind of focus in and take that? You know, it's just another game mentality. We know it's a huge game. Trust me, we feel it around campus, around the city, and it's a big game for us too. Um, but you know, you just have to try to you prepare like it's an, another game. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, it's the last game of the regular season for us, so we want to spend you know whether it's another hour on our iPads or you know whatever with the group studying. But I mean. Yeah, we definitely know it's a big game. With the offensive line played of late, you think? How have you guys played? I think we're progressing for sure. Um, we're definitely healthier. Um, I mean, we still got a long way to go, but I mean, if you look at it this year to last year, it's a big difference, I think. So um, I think we're just doing a really good job of sticking together and working really hard. Coach Wolford really makes sure we, you don't ever get comfortable with Coach Wolf. He always keeps pushing us. So. I think that's helped us a lot. Do you, you, you need your best performance of the year this year to give you a chance against Clemson, you think, because of that defense? We definitely have to play really good up front, that's for sure. We do need to play good up front. Um, it's not going to take like a supernatural effort, but I mean, they're really good up front, so we do need to play well. What do you expect this environment to be like? Anything that you've seen before at home? Uh, it'll, it'll, it'll. Be, I'm sure it'll be crazy. Yeah, I haven't played in a home game in this, uh, in the Clemson Carolina game, but I'm sure it's going to be wild, night game and stuff. What was Senior Day like for you last week? Was that emotional? Or? It was, it was awesome. It wasn't necessarily emotional too much because, uh, I mean, I knew we had another home game, but it was, it was really cool to see my parents out there and my sister and stuff like that. They enjoyed it, so.